I'm Timothy Snyder. I'm speaking to you about my book on tyranny, 20 lessons from the 20th century. I'm very glad now in the summer of 2021 to have an occasion to return to this book. The occasion is that there will be a new edition of it, a graphic edition, in my view, a much better edition, thanks to the hard work of the artist Nora Krook. As I've been working with Nora on this book in the last year, I've had occasion to, to rethink the lessons, to update some of the text, but, 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 but most of all, to think about what's enduring about the book. I wrote the book very quickly. The book's had a much longer life than I thought it would have. It's been very gratifying to see it used, not just in the United States, but also around the world, from Eastern Europe to Hong Kong. Um, this has been humbling for me and, and very important for, for, for me in various ways. What, I, what I'm doing now is I'm reflecting on each of the lessons, now means summer 2021, and, and try to extract what, where I was coming from at the time, but also suggest how these lessons might be useful in the years to come. In the lessons, um, as readers of the book will know, I tried not to be too specific about the US, tried not to be too specific about political parties or individuals, because I think the threats to democracy are, are both international and also run deeper. I think that's proved to be the case. Although we have a different president in the United States now, um, the, the, the problems we face, the fundamental problems, are, are still the same. The way the book has been recast has been, has been to adjust for that, to look perhaps a little bit more um, broadly into the future. But anyway, what I'm doing now is reflecting on each of the lessons, and we're making a video for each one. We're now up to number 18, lesson 18, which is be calm when the unthinkable arrives. I'm going to read the lesson and then say a few words about it. Be calm when the unthinkable arrives. Modern tyranny is terror management. When the terrorist attack comes, remember that authoritarians exploit such events in order to consolidate power. The sudden disaster that requires the end of checks and balances, the dissolution of opposition parties, the suspension of freedom of expression, the right to a fair trial, and so on, is the oldest trick in the Hitlerian book. Do not fall for it. So in this lesson, I'm describing a normal pattern of politics. I'm describing what happens when we are thrown, when we are surprised, when we are made vulnerable by some event which seems to have been unthinkable, and which therefore is such a surprise, such a shock, that we open ourselves to the leader. We allow the leader to do things which otherwise, perhaps, we wouldn't have allowed the leader to do. I think, to put a positive cast on this, one of, one of, the, one of the interesting things about Americans was that by 2020, we had narrowed our notion of the unthinkable. In 2016, it was unthinkable to many Americans that an elected president would try to carry out an authoritarian regime change. That's one of the reasons why I wrote the book. That was very thinkable to me, and of course, it happened. By 2020, many Americans, and perhaps even enough Americans, were aware that such a thing was possible. In 2016, the, the stereotypical thing people said was, uh, the institutions will save us. By 2020, we had enough Americans who cared enough to create new institutions or try to bolster the institutions that we had such that an election could actually be carried out. Without the active engagement of people who realized that the unthinkable was in fact thinkable, that election would not have happened. What people in 2020 generally still found unthinkable was the notion that there could be a coup d'etat on American soil. In late 2020, this is one of the things that I wrote about. I took a fair amount of heat for it at the time. I anticipated that Mr. Trump would try to carry out some kind of coup d'etat. I wrote in a number of places that he would lose the election, but nevertheless try to stay in power. In late 2020, that was the unthinkable that happened. The terror attack that I describe in this lesson took place, but it was us against us that the terrorists who stormed the Capitol on January 6, 2021, they were us, they were Americans, um, and they were taking part in the scenario that I described here. The sudden disaster, which somehow makes it okay for the entire system to be changed. Now, that did not work. 
that was held off, but that unthinkability we now have to recognize as thinkable. The whole point of this lesson, be calm when the unthinkable arrives, is to recognize that the unthinkable is not only thinkable, it's possible. And if it's possible, that means that you're, you too have to be possible. You too have to do some things which perhaps you wouldn't have thought about doing before. And in this particular case, what we have to do is we have to speak plainly about what happened in the United States. There was a coup attempt by a sitting president. We have to record those events. We have to have digital forensic specialists, historians, journalists, lawyers, a broad coalition of investigators and investigations to make sure that those events become things that children 20 years, 50 years, 100 years from now can read about and understand. But, 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 but most of all, we also have to recognize that what happened in January 2021 was a blueprint for the next coup. The thing about failed coups is they don't just go away. Failed coups are lessons for those who wish to carry out successful coups. That's what a failed coup is. It's the thing that comes before a successful coup. Unless, of course, we're able to, to ourselves make that next coup thinkable. If we realize that it's thinkable, if we realize that it's possible, then we can be calm. Then we can be prepared. Then we can do the things in the next four years that have to be done to make sure that that scenario doesn't take place. I'll speak a little bit more about that when I talk about the next lesson, lesson 19. But for now, um, this is the end. This was lesson 18, be calm when the unthinkable arrives. I realize it's a challenge. I realize it's a challenge to speak about all of these things which are stressful and demanding and unexpected and then talk about being calm. But that's precisely why it's a lesson. The calm is the lesson because the stress, the anxiety, um, the, the, the willingness to lay down, let other people interpret events for you, that's what makes tyranny possible. That's what makes authoritarian regime changes possible. We can't do everything by ourselves. For some things, we really do need other people and institutions. But this reaction of being calm when the unthinkable arrives, that is something that we can do for ourselves. Thanks.